Hey everyone, my name's Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we're doing a maths topic, specifically geometry. Now why do I have all these shapes here? Because it's geometry of course and geometry uses shapes. But why do I have a graph here? It's because we're learning about translation and reflection. Two of the qualities of, guess what? Yeah, I'm not just going to tell you. You have to guess, of course. I told you that. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. That's enough suspense. There are two parts of... Is that enough suspense? Doesn't seem like enough. But, oh, fine. You caught me off guard there. <laughs> Anyhow, there are two qualities of transformation. Yeah, not transformation, like transformers transformation. Not like that, like transformation, as in moving, reflecting, or dilating. Moving the corners or sides of a shape. Really simple, to be honest. Now, in this video, we're talking about translation and reflection. Oh, and something else, if you're learning about this in school, be sure to bring something known as tracing paper to your exams. Yes, make sure to bring tracing paper to your exams. And why am I asking you to do this? Because it'll be super helpful for things like, well, translation or reflection or dilation or stuff like that. So you can compare to the original. It helps quite a lot. Now, you might be wondering why I need this line. And even this line or this one. Because I'm preparing, of course. So, let's take this square as square Q. Yeah, just uh, say it's square Q. It's that easy. Just call it that, square Q. Now, this here, we're focusing on reflection first, okay? So, if you want translation, I don't know what time I'm going to cover it at at the time of recording, of course, but just skip ahead to whatever time I do come over to it. Either way, this is a line. We call it a line of reflection. So, we're going to reflect this square which we'll call square A, on this line. So from here to here, we flip it, its position 180 degrees. And now what happens when we do the same to this square, which we'll call square B, but on this axis? Well, we'll get this. Not exactly that, but this, this. Oh, great. I'll just delete these lines. Three. Same thing if we do it for something like this. Then it goes here. But if we're doing things like this, if we're reflecting this entire shape like this, then we're going to need a new square and we're having to put it over here. Simple, right? Well, I'll just move this to the side. Now, what is translation? Well, translation is just moving. It's, it's that easy. So you can see where this rectangle is, right? I'll just use a square for simplicity. Just take this point. It's at... This is the x-axis. Always measure x-axis first, and this is the y-axis. This is measured second. Keep that in mind, okay? So this is at minus 4, comma, 
three. That's how you write it. Bracket minus four, the x-axis, comma, separate the two, three, y-axis, and then another bracket. That's how you write coordinates. Too easy. Anyways, what if I say that I needed to move somewhere, but I only know where one of the corners should go. Say it's this one, which is at minus four, three. So what I want you to do is move it to minus three, two. This corner, minus three, two, which is here. How do I do that? Move that corner, this one, which was originally here, which was originally here, here. You just move it here, where that hand is. Really easy, right? So what if I ask you to move it to minus four, minus three, this corner. Minus four, minus three is this point. So instead of moving it here, where you would think I would move it to, move it here. There. It's that simple. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video who, to whoever needs it. Goodbye.